Have you ever played Rome Total War? I'm assuming the answer to that question is yes, because you clicked on this video. And you know that generals have three main attributes in the game. Command stars, management scrolls, and influence wreaths. But have you ever wondered exactly what these three attributes control? How exactly they make your generals better on the battlefield, they make you more money in your cities, and they keep your cities happier? Well, I'm Blue Matona, and welcome to Game Guides, because that's exactly what we're going to be diving into today, starting with Command Stars. Command is what I view as the most important of the three principal traits that a general can have. So the first, and I would say most important thing Command Stars do, is it increases the attack stat of all units under your command. So for every one additional Command Star that your general has, uh, every unit under his command in the battle, gains plus one attack. So that can be a huge, huge difference in a battle, especially one with pretty equal, you know, number of units or types of units, you know, quality of units. The second uh, major thing that Command Stars does in a battle for a general is it increases the area of effect of the general itself. So the general has an invisible circular area of effect uh, around his unit. The radius of this circle actually has a very specific formula for it. It's 30 plus 5 times the number of command stars plus 2 times the number of influence wreaths that the general has. So the radius of the circle is influenced by both command stars and influence wreaths, but the command stars have a significantly greater impact than influence does. And units that are within that circle of the general, they get a pretty significant morale boost. In some other Total War titles, like Napoleon Total War, you can actually see the general, uh, the general's area of effect, the circular area of effect, on the battle map. Rome Total War, being an older title, unfortunately doesn't have that capability. But this is just a good way to illustrate that it's a circular area like this that expands uh, and gets larger based on the command and influence of the general, so it has no effect on a city's income, uh, it has no effect on a city's public order, it has no effect on a city's population growth. Uh, what it does have an effect on is morale and uh, some stats for units on the battlefield. One little experiment that I set up here I want to show you all is that it has no effect on the general bodyguard size because during the course of my research I found that some, you know, forums and, and whatnot online actually thought that maybe command contributed to the growth and the and the size of a general's bodyguard, but here I'll show you that it does not. So we have Thiegis here with zero command stars, uh, none of his traits affect commands or retinue, uh, and we have Hano here with the spy master that gives plus one command. So if I move the plus one command spy master over to Thiegis, now he has one command. Let's go to the next turn. And you'll see the Aegis still has 26 general bodyguard size. It didn't change. The first major effect that influence has is directly on the public order of a settlement. And it's to the tune of 5% public order boost for every one uh, sort of wreath of influence you have. So you can see here that in this Egypt campaign, you start with a governor with 6 wreaths of influence. And we get a 30% governor's influence bonus to public order. Now, that does, this does not affect public order growth, it does not affect income, it strictly affects your public order. Secondly, influence actually does increase your general bodyguard size. So, like we saw before with the same experiments with Diegis, when he gained one command star, his general bodyguard size did not change. But, watch what happens when we give him the Herald, here that gives plus two influence. So, Diegis now has four influence instead of two. And if we go to the next turn, you'll see his general bodyguard size adds at 26 right now. Now we'll just skip through those menus. He's now at 27. And if we go one more turn, we should see it go to 28. And now we should see it stops here. So it appears to be that for every uh, kind of wreath of influence, the uh, general bodyguard size increases by one. Because if we were to skip one more turn forward here, after Numidia does its does its thing, we can see that the uh, general bodyguard size is still at 28. Finally, we have management. And for management, we're going to go back to our example here in Egypt to demonstrate. 
Uh, management adds to the income of a settlement. It does not affect public order. It does not affect public uh, population growth. So as you can see here in the income screen, we have trade, we have taxes, and we have the farming income. And that's obviously countered by the armed forces, upkeep costs, and the salaries of generals. Now, there is no management income bonus. Why? Because we have no management. So when there's no management, scrolls, I guess it is, um, we you don't gain any management income, which makes sense. So let's move this general out of the city. You can see the income stayed the same, 414. There's no change. Now here, we have a general with one management scroll. Okay. So if we take this general with one management scroll and we move him into the city, we should see that income increase. And there we go. 414 to 453. Now why is that? It's because of this admin income that you gain. Uh, now admin income does not work the ex like how influence works. It's not like for every one scroll I'm going to gain 39 admin income. No. That's not how it works. How it works is it's a pretty, it's a formula. So the overall formula is 0 0.02 times the management rating of the governor times all the other income sources uh, put together. So in this case, we have 230 from trade, 881 from taxes, and 880 from farming. There's no mining income in the settlement. If we add those three together, we get 1,991 income from those three factors. Now we'll multiply that by the management rating of the governor, which is one, and we'll multiply that by the uh, factor of 0 0.02. And what we're left with is 39.82. Now you can see our admin income that we're gaining here is 39, so therefore it seems that it rounds down to the nearest uh, whole number, which is okay. So that's how admin income works. Now let's take a look if we have more than one management scroll. What we'll do for this is we'll move our faction leader from Alexandria. Let's move him down. Take our other general. And now with our faction leader, we can move the librarian, which gives influence in management. So now we have two management scrolls for this character that before had one. And so we should expect to see about double the management income in the city. So let's move them back into Memphis. You can see the income immediately jumps up to 493, and our admin income is now 79. That is because now we doubled the management rating of the governor, so that instead of a one in the formula, that now multiplies the entire output of the formula by two. So that rounds it out for management. It does not affect the population growth or public order of a settlement, just the income. Uh, of said settlement. Finally, we'll run a quick experiment here just to make sure that management does not increase the general bodyguard size. So we have our faction heir with two management currently, and we have Lugatorix here who has uh, the civilized slave uh, that just adds plus one management. So if we pass that management trait over to this guy, now we have three management with the rest of the traits staying the same. So he has 38 general bodyguard size, let's end the turn, still at 38. So management does not affect uh, general bodyguard size, only influence does. So that about wraps it up. In summary, the command stars increase the attack stat of all units in a battle by plus one per star. It also increases the area of effect of a general's morale buff on the battlefield using the formula, the radius of that area equals 30 plus five times the number of command stars plus two times the number of influence wreaths. Influence affects a lot of small things. It increases the public order of a settlement by 5% per wreath, increases the general bodyguard size by one per wreath, and also increases the uh, radius of the circular area of effect for a general in a battle. Management scrolls are strictly on the financial side of things in a settlement, increasing the uh, income that a settlement has by the formula management income equals 0 0.02 times the number of management scrolls, times all of the other income factors added together. That's trade, tax, farming, and mining. So I hope you all enjoyed this episode of Game Guides. If you did, please consider leaving a like on this video and subscribing to my channel if you haven't already and would like to see more. And as I wrote in the description, this is a precursor to my traits uh, Game Guides video that will be coming out soon. So as always, I look forward to seeing you all there. Have a good one.